Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. First I thank all those people who like my previous videos and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't subscribed as of yet, you can just go down and click the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notified about my latest videos. So for today's video, I'm going to be ranking the all seven films of Bong Joon-ho from the worst to the best. Now for those of you who don't know, Bong Joon-ho is a South Korean filmmaker. He's an Oscar winning filmmaker. And in my opinion, he is the best filmmaker of the 21st century. I mean, he is one of the most versatile filmmakers ever in the history of cinema. And since his debut in the year 2000, he has made seven films. So I've decided to rank them from the worst to the best. But I must say that Bong joon -ho has never really made an all-out bad film. Yes, some of his films are better than others, but he has never really made a truly bad film. So even his worst films are actually quite good. So without further ado, let's start the list. So number seven on my list at the very bottom is Ogja. Now Ogja basically tells the story of the friendship between a young girl and a giant pig. And now I know you may think that it sounds extremely childish, but believe me, this film is anything but childish because it is sort of like this huge social satire on everything from animal rights issues to capitalism to social media. And while this film is amazing in parts, as a whole, I think this is definitely Bong Joon-ho's weakest films. And one of the main reasons for that is, in my opinion, it kind of feels disbalanced. Like some of the scenes in this film uh, feel like they are right out of a Disney a animated film. You know, they are extremely childish and uh, sort of family friendly. While some other scenes feel like, you know, they are extremely dark and gritty and feel like they are out of a David Fincher movie. So, and you know, like it, it is kind of jarring when you watch this film and the tone shifts constantly. And that's why I think it's his weakest film. And also while all the other acting performances were good, I did not like the acting of Jake Gyllenhaal in this film, despite the fact that I'm a huge fan of him. I think uh, he was terrible in this film. But I must say that this film is Bong Joon-ho's most ambitious film till date. And it must be watched just to see, you know, his vision. Number six on my list is Barking Dogs Never Bite. Bong Joon-ho's debut film, it's basically a dark comedy and it tells the story of a man who plans to murder this dog in his apartment building after being constantly frustrated by its loud barking. This film is basically another social satire and, you know, it explores themes like class division, and, uh, you know, the problems that the youth face in South Korea. Some of the common themes which are often explored in all of Bong Joon-ho's films. The main problem of this film, which keeps it from, uh, you know, being high on, up on the list, is that it feels extremely small compared to the films that Bong Joon-ho would make later. So that's, I think, the only reason why it's number six. But it's still a pretty good film. And I think if you do plan to watch all of Bong Joon-ho's films, you should watch it. Number five on my list is The Host. This film basically tells the story of a monster which emerges from the Han River and starts attacking people and how this extremely dysfunctional family, uh, you know, tries to fight it. Now, this film, while from the synopsis it might sound like, you know, a typical uh, action blockbuster film, it is, believe me, it is not one of those uh, very stupid blockbuster action films. Rather, it explores far more deeper themes like family and politics. And also the amazing acting performances of Song Kang Ho, Byun Hee Bong and Beduna make this film a definite must watch. Number four on my list is Snowpiercer. Now, I think from here onwards, every single film is not just good or as a matter of fact even very good all these films are masterpieces so snowpiercer is almost entirely in english and it basically tells the story of a post apocalyptic world where you know most of humanity has been wiped out and the few remaining survivors are now living in this train but sadly like in our present society even the train has created separate classes of humanity. You've got the higher class and you've got the lower class. 
And so now the people of the lower class decide to fight this injustice and revolt against the people of the higher class. As you have guessed, once again, it's an extremely uh, sharp social satire. And the film has an amazing ensemble cast, which includes Chris Evans, Tilda Swinton, John Hurt, Ed Harris, and of course, the legendary Song Kang Ho, who despite not having a single dialogue in English, I think is far more universal and far more uh, touching than any of the other characters. It's amazing. Like, you know, the film, this is one of those films which is both extremely entertaining and at the same time it is, you know, it's a very intellectual, well-made film. Number three on my list is Mother. Now, Mother, in my opinion, is Bong Joon-ho's most underrated film till date. It basically tells the story of a single mother who has to fight injustice after her mentally challenged son is accused of murdering a young girl. Now, the reason why I like Mother so much is because it works both as an extremely engaging crime thriller film, you know, with a great plot twist. And on the other hand, it also works as this amazing and very deep character study. And I think the heart of this film is, of course, Kimi Jia, who gives, I think, possibly the best acting performance of her career. And also, I think that the opening scene of this film is, without a doubt, one of Bong Joon-ho's best scenes till date. Number two on my list is Memories of Murder. Now, Memories of Murder is a true crime thriller film and it basically tells the story of the first serial killing case in Seoul and how the police investigate it and how they fail to capture the killer at the end. Now, this film, in my opinion, might be the best crime thriller film ever made in general. It is that amazing. I think the film is so good. Everything about this film is amazing. From the amazing acting of Song Kang Ho, who plays, you know, sort of like this corrupt cop who you can't help but feel, you know, uh, who you can't help but sympathize with. And, you know, the cinematography is just amazing. I think this is Bong Joon-ho's most visually beautiful film till date. Like some of the scenes, you know, uh, like the scene towards the end at the train tracks, I think are uh, like some of the most wonderfully shot scenes in recent times. And also the film, despite working as a great mainstream thriller, it's also very arty and it deals with, uh, you know, themes of loss and failure. And I just think it's an amazing film. It's a perfect film. And the only reason that it is number two is because number one is Parasite. Parasite, if you don't know, if you haven't heard about the film, I'm afraid you've been living under a rock because it is the first ever non-English film to win the Best Picture Oscar. It won the Palme d'Or. It won many other awards. And it was for this film that Bong Joon-ho won his long-awaited Best Director Oscar. Parasite basically tells the story of a poor family of four living in Seoul who earn a living by folding pizza boxes when suddenly the son of the family, Kivu, played by Choi Wushik, gets the job of an English tutor at a rich household. Now, the family sees this as their opportunity to climb the social ladder and are willing to do anything to achieve their goal, including document forgery and even murder. This film, I think, it's without a doubt the best film of the 21st century. It is darkly humorous, extremely thrilling, and at the same time, it is so clever. Like, the social satire in this film is so clever, sharp, and still subtle. It's just brilliant. Everything about this film is perfect. Uh, from the cinematography to the editing, the amazing editing, I must say, there is this eight minute long montage in the film. And I, I'm, I have to say it is one of the best uh, scenes I've ever seen in a film in recent times. It is just amazing. Of course, the acting performances of everyone, especially Song Kang Ho, who gives, I think, the best performance of his entire career. Everything about this film is just so amazing. And if you haven't watched Parasite as of yet, I don't know really what you're doing. Please watch it. It's available on Amazon Prime Video. You won't be disappointed. 
anyways guys that was the video thanks for watching if you like my channel do like share and subscribe you can also add on your thoughts in the comment section below so thank you bye bye i'll meet you next week